Hello and welcome to Kern County Raceway Park. We are here in the ARCA car for some official racing. I'm very excited to give this a go. Uh, first time I believe I've done an official race at Kern County. Been uh, trying to learn it the best I can in this car. Gavin's in here. First time slot of the week. Practice. Only practice. So people reckon in practice apparently. Um, Gavin's in here and a lot of the other familiar faces for the first time slot. Oh, I just noticed Landon. Send him a good luck. As we are getting ready for qualifying. Um, it's, a, it's a slow process for me learning this uh, place. But uh, made some progress I think. I think this race, uh, a big part of it, is just going to be learning and uh, trying to keep the car clean, make it to the end, get some laps in, and get more familiar with this place. So, see what we can do. Not try to get too much. Very easy for it to snap on exit, and uh, it's a little bit loose on entry as well. Careful. I found uh, you get a little bit more speed if you keep it close to this seam down here. Even get on it a little bit. All right, that's about as good as I could have hoped for. That's an all-time best for me. It's not going to be pole by any means. Freaking Larry Pace up there had like two tenths faster of a best lap. He was running point sixes, which is absurd. I don't know how he did that. Actually, we're a little bit closer to the general speed of the field right now. Right now, P5. So that is actually, uh, I'm feeling kind of okay with that. Feeling a little bit better than I was. But I'm not going to get too wide-eyed here and try to get a crazy finish or anything. Because I'm just going to end up wrecking myself if I do that. I'm going to try to remain disciplined with my inputs. Make sure I've got uh, the correct line. So I can focus on hitting the correct line. And... Uh, Hopefully I can get better from there. Because if I start uh, driving all the wrong lines, then I'll start forming bad habits. So, focus on the line I'm running first. Try not to uh, spin it out on entry, which got pretty close right there. And uh, once I kind of got the line down, that's what I think uh, is the right way to get around this place. Then I can start trying to push it further and further. But it definitely does seem like you want to kind of use this seam right here as the way to get around the track. I don't know that. I'm kind of able to get a, a decent exit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tire heat type of place, I think. Probably not too much tire wear. 99, 98 after that handful of laps I did. It's going to be about preventing the slide. So we hit P5. That's pretty darn good. Very happy with that. Justin, Larry is second and third. Put that back on so we can hear. Uh, Austin in here as well, armed for gaming. I think, uh, yeah, Gavin Ropchan in here as well. So just. Lots of uh, the good racers. So hopefully should be a good a good race. I see a nice bumper to drive through in front of me. <laughs> hey, thanks. Right. You'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is I just right hope out. I can avoid making any major mistakes and not be in the way too bad. <laughs> Actual strength of field looking like a 4.4k, according to Race Lab. <laughs> Excited to get uh, underway here, Kern County. At least beat you, Jeremy. 
Always super fun, super cool yeah, to get I a new I'm oval track really on iRacing. Like, more so than Larry, when Larry says he's not a short track guy. If it's Bristol, you're probably not. Okay, that's fair. I'm actually decent at Bristol. Man, we were only uh, a short track, six hundredths of a second off of pole. Man, no one needs your special I can feel pretty good about that. I don't know where the point six came from then. Bristol in practice. Technically a short track, so I mean you just go that and you don't get any good Glad we were able to pull off a decent lap there for uh qualifying. We're gonna be on the inside as well. Which I think should be quite nice. We need to follow car number zero one. So my question is if the uh, bottom line is that kind of one line up on the seam, guys on the outside aren't gonna be expecting me to be on the bottom, are they? I hope not. We'll kind of see where, uh, how other people are doing it. Gotta remember the tire's gonna be cold, so we can't just sling it in there turn one and expect it to catch without questions asked. Hello, Mr. Gavin Rothschild. How we doing? I'm nervous but excited. Hey, shalom. We'll get a good view of the 12 who got himself the pole. I will uh, try Pretty impressively, if you're able to outrun guys like uh, Justin Yee and Larry Pace, you've had yourself a pretty good Q lap. Him and his big donkey. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Here we go, first ever official race at Curtin County. Get ready, Curry. You always clean to do your job. For me. <laughs> I don't know about it. Let's go. Green, green, green. Side lane, not the greatest start. Keep on the brakes a decent bit. I see. Larry Pace running the very bottom line, interestingly. Is that a tire saving strat? Could be. So far, so good. That's my fault. I thought we were gonna. I thought everybody was gonna that line, man. My bad. The leader's just done a 19.0. Remember not to push too hard, just take what I can get. Get somebody off the pace already up there. Austin behind us, keeping us honest. Not too far away. Big brakes. And this thing slowed down so we can wrap that bottom line the best we can. Your last lap time was at Very intrigued by this. Car in front's lap time is at low lap. Oh! New fastest lap for Neil. Oh my god. That snapped bad. Oh boy. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. That was scary. That was very scary. Uh, don't do that. Huh, that really felt like it came out of nowhere. Guess I had too much throttle in it, too much wheel. So we're going to ease on to it a little bit more than that we have been. So that was a heart attack in no uncertain terms. A little bit high up the track there by accident. Twelve getting away, looks like. At least for now. It started to feel like it was going to snap on me again there. Don't want that to happen. 
Glad I was able to save it. That was not a certainty by any means. I really had to climb on top of my wheel and do a dance. Save it. Overdrove that. Decent run off, though. Hey, we got about a second behind us, and look who it is. It's Gavin behind us. He's having a great run. He's gone from 10th to 6th. And I can't imagine it's too easy to pass. So he's made some moves, I bet. going to look forward to watching his perspective. That's good consistency. Keep it up. We'd be able to get around. Sorry, I'm going to their country. Oh, don't snap. It really wants to get me. That exit of two really wants to get me. I am very sorry, Steve. I was on the brakes hard, man. I was trying to slow down. Break two and or three and four. Uh oh. Where is he? Okay, we're clear, I guess. Track's clear, tower. Or know what you're gonna see around the bend, so. You've just done a 19.2. Mm -hmm. Austin goes extra low that time. Oh, he gets loose. Let me get on his outside. get around him. Alright. So he got around us when we made a mistake. He makes a small mistake there when we get back around. Are we going to be faster, though? Or is he going to be right back up here? That was a 19.5. Lap traffic coming up. A little bit too hard through there, I think. Using it through two. As long as I don't want to overdrive that, I think we should be fine. I don't know if I've uh, had my warning with the near spin out. I think I can learn from that. That feels pretty good still. That got pretty loose though. Side by side lap cars up ahead. It's not necessarily what I want to see. P4, the gap to peace ahead is now 0.9. That lap was a 19.4. Going on the outside, I guess. Still there, hold your line. I don't know where he is. Stay high. I think he lifts off for us. Appreciate that. Outside. Get around the 15. Your last lap time was at 19.6. Alright, glad I got around that. Come on, 17. Oh no, I landed. Something's happened to him, it sounds like. I still see him there in 6th though, so he must not be doing too bad. Probably just a, uh, a moment that he had. Hey, I'm feeling pretty good. We are P4. Following guys like Justin and... Shout out to that uh, 12 car in the lead. He is having himself a run. See if he can finish it off. We are just over halfway here at Kern County Raceway Park. Yes, thank you. I was just talking about that. <laughs> Being halfway.
Austin point six behind us though. So we gotta watch out for him to make another run at us. Just feel like the car's getting a little tighter, maybe. See Gavin again on a relative. Fly down, down low. Uh -oh. Fly down, down, down low. low. What the hell was that seven car? Uh oh. There's actually quite a bit of room here, I feel like. Pretty wide track, so. Should be able to get around uh, slow cars without too much trouble. You would hope. Coming up on the 14. Oh, that's Brandon. Another name we recognize. This is a pretty fun place. I'm having a fun time driving this thing. I think I'm kind of starting to get the hang of what I'm supposed to be doing here in terms of running the line. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Pretty fun. And I better get used to this place because K5 Championship yeah, Season 5 is, now is all about seconds. Kern County, the new track here. All season, it's going to be. This track with different cars, starting with the super late model on Sunday. Oh, oh, oh. Getting all sideways. So really looking forward to that. I will be participating. Never driven the super late model. So uh, probably not going to go too well in that one. But I'll give it my best. I thought this one wasn't going to go too well. We're uh, holding on to a top five, at least for now. It's excellent. So, not sure we're gonna be catching anybody else though. Larry up there, pretty much just holding his gap. Oh, don't get sideways. Starting to get a little sideways mid corner. Oh my god, where's the 14 going? I think they were trying to get out of my way, but that really slowed me down. Oh, it's Brandon. <laughs> I forgot that was Brandon. Yeah, it scared me more than anything because he started going slow on entry. I wasn't expecting it. I think he was just trying to get out of the way. Thank you to him. He wasn't really uh, holding me up at all. Because uh, I think he was actually just about the same pace as us. Whoa, a little loose. Ten to go. This time by. Ten to go. Let's bring it home. Yeah, I think Brandon might actually be faster than me, to be honest, right now. Whoa! Okay, it entered a little bit too hard, got a little sideways. Let's hold on to it. Don't throw this good finish away. Your lap time was 19.9. I think I was cutting down a little. It's too super tight though. Good racing. All right, that's a pretty good lap. That lap was a 19.7. You see my inconsistency, where I'll uh, get a decent lap and then fall into the red again, and then back to the green. It's all about me uh, just not being optimal. To be expected learning a new place. That's something I'll try to work on, just uh, more consistent laps. Sideways. Oh, 
Someone has spun. It's Justin. Oh my gosh, we got around Justin. All right. Was it sure for a second where it was gonna be? Five to go. Podium is looking good. A rare mistake from the Arca farmer there. Crops have wilted. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to come up with a farming joke. That's the best I could come up with. I said I'm not a comedian for a reason. But uh, hey, that's a spot I did not expect to get. Late enough in the race, like, we might be able to hold on to that as long as we don't make the similar mistake ourselves. It's going to be faster than us, though, so we got to put in some decent laps to finish this thing off. Okay, Colton, the next car is Peace. Ooh, it's got loose. That might have been similar to what happened to him. Two to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. You're reeling. Peace. In the gap is now 2.6 seconds. P3. White flag. White flag. Easy now on exit. One more time around. Last lap. Looking good for a podium. I think we've got ourselves a P3. Wow, okay. 0x P3. The 12 gets the win. Heck yeah. Got a short track? A new short track? I'll take that 10 times out of 10, man. Awesome. That was awesome. You too, uh, Lemon. Fun race, too. Yeah, good race. Darn it, David, I thought I had you. Ooh, all right. Everybody had me at one point. Good race, win. good win. The winner, Aiden, 89-83, 87-83. Look know. at that, we're on our right rear. Very interesting. Everybody else saying, Larry really on that right rear. Gavin, pretty much the same as us, a little bit more on the right front. Landon in the perfect 85-85. He really drove it up, drove the car well there. Interesting to see. Spencer on the right front. All right, interesting. Gavin and Landon both moved forward quite a bit. Really great runs. So you can see your final standings here. That was a good race. I really enjoyed that. Let's uh, see what happened in terms of contact. That's a little loud for some reason, so we're going to do that. And, uh, let's get an idea of what happened. The three driving a little bit too high up the track, I think. I think you probably expect guys to be a little lower there. This is almost kind of what I was saying uh, before we actually got started. Like, our guys going to be expecting the person below them to go all the way to the bottom. Now, I think the three, even if he were just taking this line around the scene, was still a little bit too high up. Didn't quite turn in well enough. And that uh, unfortunately tags Jordan, and it al also sends the three around. Looks like most everybody able to get around, at least. A little more trouble early on. Ooh. 17, coming in hot. He's having a great run through the corner, but a little bit too good. And it comes up and gets the eight. And uh, he gets the worst of it as he gets sent around. I saw that. Oh no, Gavin Rapchan. Sends Steve around. That's what Steve's talking about here. His tires after the spin. Just a bit of a rear ending. Speaking of rear ending, something happened right there. And oh boy. 
So that was a big chain reaction, it looks like. So we've got Brandon coming up on the back of Jeremy here. And it looks like uh, they enter pretty easy, easily into the corner. A little bit of a checkup. And the 7 comes from pretty far back and tags the 14. And then Gavin, seeing that, decides he's going to cut low since they're uh, kind of running into each other a little bit. And uh, it's looking like he's going to make a good move around. But the 7, after all that, decides he's going to cut low and they just ended up in the same spot. Probably a case like couple people didn't see where the other person was and they ended up in the same spot and uh well <laughs> the seven makes it out of it but the other two do not pretty heavy hit there just barely grabs his right rear too very unfortunate oof big driver side door hit Eight's going to spin. Whoa. Kind of saves it. Puts it in the wall a little bit. But then, uh, I guess he quits. Oh, and then here's what happened to Justin. So he actually caught the leader. How about that? So he caught the leader, and he's trying to make a pass around him. It's looking low. He drives it in harder than the 12, but I think he gets on. He has to get on the brakes pretty hard here so he doesn't run into the back of him. And I think the brakes probably sent his car to the left and had him sliding, and it just looks like there was no catching it. It just would not turn back the correct direction. And then uh, I kind of had to just uh, tiptoe my way around a little bit, make sure I knew where he was going to end up. At first it looked like the high side was going to be open and then uh, he, he kind of was moving that way so I cut down low again and that's how we got P3 very fortunate there because otherwise that wasn't going to happen and uh, that was the last thing um, that happened in the race there so we get P3 at our official debut of Kern County that was a lot of fun I actually really enjoyed racing that um, seemed like uh, as long as you keep the tires from screeching <laughs> as much as possible try not to uh, get it loose and burn up the tires the heat mainly i think seems like uh the wear isn't too bad just got to watch out for the snaps on exit and uh, if you keep the car straight you can even get some freebies so all right definitely will take that and uh, we'll look at the race results page Coming right up here, I'll bring that up so we can see the official strength of field count and uh, all the results, all the numbers. So the official strength of field was 4419. Your winner is the number 12 who gets a big 113 I rating haul by finishing ahead of some 8,000, 7,000 guys. That's a great run for him. Excellent job. We get uh, P3. So we get a big 229 championship points and uh, 54 I rating gained, putting at us uh, in the 5700s, highest my I rating's ever been. Going down the field, you see Gavin had himself a great run, clean run as well with the zero incidents, and uh, down to the bottom here. So that'll do it. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining me, checking out Kern County. That'll do it for this one. Uh, we'll be back for some more racing this week. Looking forward to it. See you there, and I hope you have a good one. Pat is meowing at me. <laughs>